Welcome. Today, we'll discuss trapezoids and isosceles trapezoids. So what is a trapezoid? For that, let's consider two parallel lines, which is M and N. Now let's choose two points in line M. Let me choose this point right here. Let me call it A. And let me choose this point right here. Let me call it B. And let me choose some other two points in the line N. So let me choose this point right here. Let me call it C. And let me choose this point right here. And let me call it D. Now, what will happen if we connect all those four points? Notice what we have done here. We have created a four-sided figure, which again, let me highlight it. What's so special about this four-sided figure? Notice that there are two line segments that are parallel to each other. Those segments that are parallel to each other we are going to label them as the basis of the trapezoid. Now for the line segments that are on the left and the right hand side, which in this case, that's AC and BD, we call them the legs of the trapezoid. And this is how we are going to be defining a trapezoid. A trapezoid, it's a four-sided figure where there is a pair of parallel segments. Which in this case, that is A, B, and C, D. Now, one thing to notice is that this is not a parallelogram. And the reason why it's not a parallelogram, because notice that AC is not parallel to BD. So therefore, all those properties of a parallelogram cannot be used in a trapezoid. Now let's consider a more specific trapezoid, and that is an isosceles trapezoid. So what is an isosceles trapezoid? That is when our trapezoid has congruent lengths. So let's create an isosceles trapezoid here. Let's call this line N. And let's call this line M. Let me choose two points in line N. And let me choose two points in line M. Let me call this C. In such a way that AC has to be congruent to BD. If AC is congruent to BD, then we can claim that the figure that we have here, it's an isosceles trapezoid. So let's label this trapezoid. Now, what's so special about a trapezoid? Well, that is that the angles that are on the same base are congruent to each other. Which in this case, that would be angle C and angle D. And also, angle A and angle B. Now, why is this true? Let's just visualize this. So let's say that we consider the line segment BD and we construct a parallel line coming from point A. So let's call this line, let's create it first. Let's give it a point. Let's call it F. And by doing so, notice what we have done. We have created a parallelogram. And if this is a parallelogram, remember that opposite sides are congruent to each other. So therefore, BD is going to be congruent to AF. So let's actually write down down here. Well, we created a parallelogram. And by doing so, we can apply properties of parallelograms, which is opposite sides are congruent to each other. And now that we have this, notice on the left hand side, we have an isosceles triangle. And what do we know about isosceles triangle? Any angle that is opposite to congruent sides are congruent. So therefore, C is congruent to F. But also notice that angle F is congruent to angle D. How so? Their corresponding angles. Notice that 
if this is f and this is d, therefore, if we extend our lines, we can think of this as being some kind of a transversal. Now we can clearly see that they are corresponding angles and that by transitive property, c is congruent to d. So this is the idea as to why isosceles trapezoids have this property, that any angle who is on the same base, they're congruent to each other. So let's summarize what we have said so far. We started by defining a trapezoid. And here we said that in order for this figure to be labeled as a trapezoid, then there has to be a pair of parallel lines, which in this case, let's call it BC and AD. And those parallel lines are what we call the basis of the trapezoid. So let's label that in here. And then the other two sides that have no special properties to them, we just call them the legs of the trapezoid. And then we took a look at a very specific trapezoid, which it was an isosceles trapezoid. The way that we define an isosceles trapezoid, it's a trapezoid, where the legs are congruent to each other. So let's label our trapezoid. Then as a result, we know that any angle who is on the same base is congruent to each other. Which in this case, there's two. Angle A is congruent to angle D. And angle B is congruent to C. Hello. If you would like to continue to learn about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.